In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to automatically research and qualify your leads at scale using AI without having to use VAs, without having to spend a lot of money and without having to do any manual work. Quick introduction, Leadify, I'm one of the co-founders. We've generated over 4,000 leads for our clients in the past year, sent over a million emails in the past year, certified clay experts, and we help install B2B automated outbound systems to generate leads on autopilot. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI agents to research info on companies at scale and how to analyze and qualify prospects at scale. Let's jump straight into it. Right, so let's imagine you're in clay and you have a lead list of companies. Now, this lead list of companies has maybe been pulled from sales now, from Apollo, you name it. Wherever the data source is, you've got a lead list and you're like, okay, cool. This isn't the most accurate data. I need to filter out and only quant contact the right ICP ID, uh, your ideal customer profile. So how do we do that? And how do we do that without doing a bunch of manual work and research? AI, we're gonna use AI agents to do this. So within Clay, this is really simple. We're gonna click on add enrichment here in the top right. And we're gonna go use AI. And we can browse templates, but I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna write the prompt from scratch. And we're gonna click on to web research and we're gonna make sure that we are on GPT-40 mini. Now, if you haven't connected your API key, I urge you to connect your API key because it is quite literally pennies to do this. So yeah, super cheap. So first thing we're gonna do, we've got a list of the company domains. We need to qualify them and we need to understand what type of company is this, right? So there's a couple of ways that we could do this. We can do multiple steps or we can just make it really easy and just do one. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna be using the company domains. We're going to get AI to go onto the website and then we're gonna get AI to tell us whether or not this is a good fit or not, right? And there's a couple of different ways that we're gonna do this, but we're gonna do this in a two-step process to make it a little bit easier to be able to kind of manage this, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is say, visit the, the website URL here. Boom, and we're gonna just input the company domain and do the following task number one analyze the text on the home page of the website number two synthesize that information and create a brief summary of what the company does we include important information on what the company offers that a company does, spell that incorrectly, synthesis, synthesize. Keep your output to less than 200 words. Only output a summary and nothing else. Right, very simple. Cool. Uh, we're just gonna put this not on auto update. We're gonna turn that off and just click save. It's gonna create the column. Cool, now we're gonna click here and we're just gonna run column and we're gonna run 20 rows, right? Just so you get an idea of what this looks like. So in the past, you would have had to have clicked into each website and gone, what type of company is this? Is this one of our, is this on our ideal customer profile? Like, is this an ideal company that we wanna reach out to? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, right? Uh, you would have to go onto the website and you have to flick through all this kind of stuff and it would take ages, right? This is one company, right? So we've now got, you can see here, company summary. What it's done is it's read the website, it's visited the website and it's output a, a summary. BM, BM wine seller specializes in da 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 da. Right, so you can see it's accurate, we clicked on that link. And you wanna double check this and do it manually first just to make sure that the AI is getting it correct. But you with something, a task as simple as that, it, it you know will do a pretty decent job. And then yeah, you can just see basically here are all the responses. So now that we've got a summary of what the company does, we are now gonna use AI again to read that and tell us if this is a B2B company or not, if this is a B2B or a B2C company. Now I've already got a prompt for this, so I'm just gonna use this, but we would go back into use AI. I'm gonna click on browse prompts. I'm gonna click on you, and then I'm gonna click on B2B. All right, B2B classification. And this, don't worry about this too much. We just have to map this to the response. So this is the main one here, company summary response. We just need to map it to the response and we click, oh, things in the way. Click, oh, no, apply template. Cool. So we're gonna just remove this. And we're just gonna put here, input. Cool. So now what we're gonna do again is just put save. And we're gonna run this for 20 rows. And now that is going to check this 
description and it's going to tell us whether or not it thinks this company is a B2B company or a B2C company. Now, in this case, we only want to reach out to B2B companies. So we would then filter by B2B. So we might click this into here, click response, click create column. And then you can very easily just go filters, click on response and we can go contains and then B2B. Right now we're only going to filter for the companies that are here. Obviously it's the smallest, but you can get the point if this was like 25,000 leads, you can now filter for B2B companies. Cool. So now that we've understood that these are B2B companies or B2B C2C companies, we can go into a step further and try and analyze the website to understand whether or not this is the right fit type of client. So whatever your criteria is for an ideal customer, you can put in multiple, multiple steps within Clay to do research on the prospect. So we could right now, if we wanted to, now that we know that this is a B2B company, for example, we could look at the technology and we could look at the website tech stack. So this is gonna use multiple different steps, similar web predict leads, HD insights, and built with to find the company's technologies that are listed on their website. And we could run this and we could get an understanding. Okay, cool. This is a B2B company that has this tech on their website, right? Now, this is just an idea of something you can do. This is an extra integration within Clay. This costs Clay credits, but the point of this video is to show you how to do this with AI. So now that we're here, we can click on Add Enrichment, and I'm gonna try and find out whether this is a software company or not. Now, I'm gonna show you a really cool way of how we can do this using Claude if you're stuck on writing prompt. So we're now within prompt, uh, prompt. we're now within Claude, and we're going to ask it, I need your help help creating a prompt that will determine if, if a company is a software company or not. A software company, company will usually be a platform tool or automation software that helps businesses save time i'd like you to create the prompt in plain english just no tech no code sorry here are a few examples of descriptions you'll need need to read and analyze to determine if they are a software company or not. If they are, then output. Right. Cool. Uh, if they are not, then output no fit. Right. Very simple. Now, what we're going to do, just because we want to always, well, not always, but we want to give AI some examples. I'm going to come into here and we're going to copy paste a few of these. I'm going to go boom, example one, boom, example two, boom, example three. And right, that should be fine. Now we're going to put that in there and we're going to let it do its thing. Cool. Analyze your examples first. Here's the prompt you could use. Read the company description to determine if it's a technology company. Cool. Right, so we're going to copy this little bit in here and we're going to test this out as a prompt. Now we're going to go add enrichment. All right, we're going to come back over into this uh, right hand side here, go add enrichment, use AI. We're going to copy paste the prompt. And then we're just going to obviously read the company description and we're going to put in the actual uh, map the company description, which is here, company summary, response, and determine if it's a software company by checking for these criteria. One thing I'd also add here is we want it to not just check the description, but we also want it to read the website. Now, by all means, the first time around, I didn't need to necessarily scrape and analyze the whole website, but usually that's a good step just because sometimes asking AI to do two things at once, it doesn't always get it correct. So sometimes it's easier to do two steps, but you can also remove and negate company summary step and just do this whole thing by saying, this is the website URL and output what type of company this is. You can do that, but I'm just showing you another way around it that it can help improve the like accuracy of it, right? So read the company description uh, uh, here and here, and then I'm gonna map the section where I want it to visit the company domain 
uh, and then I'm going to put and determine if it's a software company by checking these criteria. Does the company uh, da, 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 da. if the company means uh, do not, and then I would just put in do not output anything else, just SAS or no fit. Cool. And then I'm going to also make sure that this is on web research Clagent because we're going to get it to visit a URL. If we want to use it just for analyzing text that we've already got within Clagent, we would click on content creation. But if we want it to visit a URL and go to an external site, we use web research Clagent. Right. And then we're just going to turn this off and then we're going to click save. And because I've got a small list, it might actually come up that there's none, but you get, hopefully you get the point with all this stuff. So we're going to run this and it's going to analyze the description here and it's also going to visit the website URL and it's going to try and pull and understand whether or not this is a software company and if it is it's going to put SAS and if it's not it put no fit right and again with each of these steps you want to manually check some of these things first right cool so now we've got SAS uh, there's a couple of these uh, SAS fantastic right so now we know it's B2B it's a software now we also want to know maybe we want to know what's the average price that's on the website we want to know um, do they sell to enterprise we want to understand like this kind of stuff. So again, I'm going to go back into Claude uh, and create another prompt in Claude to be able to use uh, again for um, AI here. Right. So we're in Claude again, and we're going to put in, uh, I need help with another prompt. Uh, I'd like uh, an AI agent to visit a website URL and determine if a com uh, the following thing about a company, the following things about a company. And then we could put in, does this company offer a free trial? Does this company sell, sell or mention enterprise on? their site. What price does this company charge for its services? Um, what else could we put? That's about it. All right. I'm just going to put that in for the time being. Cool. And then it'll spit out the prompt and then we can copy paste this copy, come over into clay, paste, obviously remove any of these bits. And then we can put, uh, I'll be create a prompt that would help. Uh, and then here's the prompt, we remove that part. So visit the provided website URL, boom, come into main. Right, great. And then we can just put, don't output anything else. Do not output anything else. Just reach out, yes, duration if specified. Yes, no, perfect. Just the output format specified cool and then again we want to just make sure that this is for a mini we're on collegiate it's checked and then we can just click save we can click save and run 10 rows we could put a conditional formula in obviously that would only run it with sas but i just want to show you some different things that we can actually do with ai to classify score filter research etc with uh, yeah with uh with ai so you can see here free trial we've got here Free trial, no. Enterprise, no. Pricing, not specified. Okay, fantastic. It hasn't given us too much information here. We've got free trial, not specified, and not specified, not specified. Okay, cool. So if we were to actually click onto the websites here and have a look and see, because we've got SaaS, SaaS. There's a few SaaS companies. Adna, right, global audience, real-time data, online, banking, dun, 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 dun. Right, so we haven't got anything here. That's fair enough. There's nothing here. Cool. So this one here has output. We have free trial. Yes. Enterprise. Yes. Pricing free plan, free plan, 39 monthly. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this has given us a little bit of information here that we can use, right? So we've got start for free, free trial. That's correct. Fantastic. We've got, let's see, uh, is there any pricing on here? Start for free. So what else we've got pricing, yeah, pricing's here. Okay, cool, awesome. So it's $39.99 and Clay, or Clay has output pro plan $39.99, right? Which is awesome. So it's quite literally gone onto the website, figured out what pricing there is on the website, and then we've been able to upload that and use that. Now we can use that as part of our outreach so we could create relevant messaging around that. So 
Again, I just wanted to show you in this video how you could take an initial lead list, whether the, whatever data source that is, and a lot of times with those data sources like you know LinkedIn, Apollo, etc., categorization isn't always the best. So what you can do is you can now use AI to summarize what the com what the company does. You can output like a summary of their website. You can classify them if they're B2B or B2C. You can classify if they're a software company, classify them if they're a good fit, whatever. You could upload your criteria and say, does this company match or meet this criteria based on the inputs that I have? The inputs could be their company domain and so on, right? And then on top of that, we can also analyze the website as well in more detail. We can find out if they're running free trials. We can run out if uh, find out if they are selling to enterprise. We can run and find out if, you know, what pricing they have and so on and so forth. We can also find out if they mention any particular things, like do they mention the word AI on their website? And then we can, again, filter if you're reaching out to companies that are focused on AI, for example, right? There are so many things that we can do, and I just want to open the door and kind of get you thinking about some of the use cases that you can have with Clay. The best thing about all of this is the, how much this costs. So you can see total cost, cost here to run one row is this, right? And if we run it uh, again, total cost is this, it is like literally pennies, like literally pennies, right? To do all of this stuff. Um, you know, you can see here free trial, free trials described, uh, the cost is this. It is so, so cheap to run all of this stuff that, you know, the fact that AI can do this automatically, once you've built the list and the steps and everything, if you had a list of 25,000, you could just run the whole thing and it would output a pretty reasonably accurate, and especially you have to do a little bit of quality control at the start, but it is gonna save you so much time and so much money over the long term. So if you're interested in having these kinds of systems installed into your business and these kinds of workflows and all this kind of stuff, and you're, you're doing things manually at the moment, but you wanna have things more efficient, then feel free to book in a call below with myself and my co-founder, and we'll speak to you and, and kind of help you out there. So yeah, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.